Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Worship and Prayer with Brad and Connor. We're happy that you could be with us today. We're going to uh, sing a couple of songs, pray together, and read from God's Word. And uh, we hope that uh, this is an, you know, something that you find uh, valuable in your week and something that God can use to encourage you and uh, bring uh, peace and strength to your life. Uh, we're going to sing a couple of songs. Uh, the first one is going to be Hallelujah for the Cross. It's a song by Chris Killarney that I'm going to do, uh, one we do in our engaged services. Mm -hmm. It's just a great, powerful song that uh, I hope you enjoy. And Connor's going to do, what do you, what do you say? Uh, oh, Come to the Altar, um, written by Chris Brown and Mac Brock. Um, it's one of my favorites for a very long time, and so I hope you guys enjoy it. Well, I want to sing Hallelujah for the Cross today. And uh, as I was looking at the lyrics of that song, it talks about the freedom that Christ has purchased for us on the cross. And uh, I went to Galatians chapter 5, verse 13. And it says this, For you were called to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Christ loved us so much that he went to the cross, that he uh, provided for us uh, for all of eternity. And today it's our, it's our mandate to love those around us, to love as he would love. And uh, in today's world, that's an important thing, an important thing right now for us to care for our neighbors, to consider the things that um, are important uh, about our culture and, and our lives. And uh, it's really our responsibility to uh, act appropriately and to care for those around us and love our neighbor as ourselves. Today, we follow the the model of Christ, the example of Christ, uh, to love uh, like no other. And uh, as we sing this song, uh, we hope that those words and those ideas are meaningful to you today. your love slave to the darkness if it wasn't for the cross you have won me with your me down I was lost where would I be if it wasn't for the cross hallelujah thank you Jesus I was a prisoner now
So the reason I chose the song "Oh Come to the Altar" is it is one of my favorites. Um, but I've always sang this song as a a song about me personally coming to the altar for myself. And it kind of struck me today as I was preparing for this that God calls us as Christians to be there for our brothers and sisters and to be there for the world around us. And so in the climate that we're facing today, all over our nation, I would encourage you guys to come to the altar for those who you know around you. Maybe there's something that's heavy on your heart with what's going on around us today. Um, And I would encourage you to go to the altar for that reason. Um, And the verse that I want to read for you guys comes out of Hebrews 4, uh, verse 16, and it says, So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There, There we will receive his mercy, and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. And so I'd, I would encourage you, um, wherever you're at today, um, to go and find a quiet place, wherever you are, and make that your altar. And bring your request to the Father boldly. Carry those things to his throne, because... That's what we need to do as Christians. We need to communicate with our Lord and we need to tell him what's on our heart. That's what he desires most is to have relationship with us. And God can do amazing things more than we could ever ask or imagine. And sometimes what that takes is for us to ask for it. And so I would encourage you as we sing, um, maybe think on the, the thing that's on your heart or the person that's on your heart today and take them to the Lord in prayer. Jesus is calling Have you come to the end of yourself? Do you thirst for a drink from the well? Jesus is calling Oh, come to the altar The Father's arms are open wide Forgiveness was bought with The precious blood of Jesus Christ Leave behind your regrets and mistakes Come today, there's no reason to wait. Jesus is calling. Bring your sorrows and trade them for joy. From the ashes, a new life is born. Jesus is calling. Oh, oh, oh. come to the altar, the fire. Oh, what 
Isn't he wonderful? Sing hallelujah. Christ is risen. And bow down before him. For he is Lord of all. Sing hallelujah. Christ is As you wait for the crown, tell the world of the treasure you found. Jesus is calling. Well, thanks for joining us today for worship and prayer, and uh, we hope that uh, these songs have been uh, meaningful to you and that. God has moved in your heart as you've heard these words. We're going to pray and uh, I just encourage you to join us as we pray and uh, you pray with us uh, that God would move and uh, make a difference in the lives of those around us. Today we're praying about the fires in Oro Valley, actually up on the mountain there. Uh, we're praying uh, for the situation around our nation. And uh, we're praying for um, the situation with the COVID uh, virus. And it uh, seems like things are uh, n not yet uh, going back to normal. And I guess it's going to be an ongoing issue. But uh, we can pray that God would make a difference. And so uh, join us as we pray today. Father, we thank you for this time that we've had. Uh, to be able to lift your name, to glorify you, to talk about and sing about your goodness to us, Lord, to sing about uh, what you have provided for us. And, Lord, the fact that, you know, as human beings, we, we don't have much to offer you, Lord. It's our surrender and our lives. And so we do that today. And uh, uh, we know that it's by your mercy and your grace that you have provided uh, eternal life that you provided your peace and strength to us and so we surrender to that today uh, we pray for these needs that uh, uh, we have today Lord I pray that uh, these fires would uh, be completely taken care of and that it would not continue to cause havoc in uh, our area Lord but uh, you would uh, allow the firefighters to take care of things and, and be very effective in their work. And, Lord, that you would protect them and guide them in uh, what they're doing. I pray, Lord, uh, that you would protect the homes and protect the families that are in uh, the line of the fire and that it would not cause uh, harm to anybody or property damage or things like that, Lord. We just pray that uh, you would protect in all of those situations. Father, we're praying for our nation today and the issues that uh, face us. And Lord, there are 
many situations that um, just seem out of con our control and uh, things that um, we wish didn't happen, things that we know that are wrong. And uh, Lord, we, we just pray that you would help us to love, help us to care, help us uh, to find justice, Lord, that you would provide in all of those respects. And uh, even as we you know, sit here today and don't feel like we can make a big difference on our own, Lord, we, we pray that uh, something and, and uh, the influence of uh, our, our government and our, our uh, authorities, Lord, would make a difference in these circumstances and that you would be glorified and uh, peace and your, your love would reign in all of that. Father, we're praying for the COVID-19 situation that we find ourselves in. And uh, I pray, Lord, that you would protect uh, and that you would um, make that virus subside and that it wouldn't be a constant uh, issue for our uh, people. And, Lord, that uh, you would heal those who've uh, come down with it. Lord, that uh, you would bring them back to 100% health. And, Father, that you would be glorified in those situations. I pray for protection. Uh, Lord, I pray for my relatives and friends. I pray for uh, our congregation, for all those that uh, we know. But, Lord, there's so many that uh, obviously we don't know. And uh, we just pray your protection over them as well and ask, Lord, that you would clear up this pandemic and that it wouldn't cause any further health issues and concerns for uh, all of us, Lord. Um, pray that you would help them find a vaccine for that and that uh, they would uh, be able to, you know, get to the point where we wouldn't have to have this as a concern. I thank you for this day and I thank you for this opportunity for all those who are watching, Lord. We pray your blessing on them, encourage them today. And Lord, we thank you for your love and your goodness for the cross, Lord. And uh, we bring all of our cares to you today. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us. Have a great day. God bless.